explain to me why this platform is going downhill. Explain. Explain to me why you think Twitch is going downhill. There was a new policy on Twitch that was announced today that will legitimately destroy the platform with the majority of streamers choosing to go elsewhere if it goes into effect. Now, this was announced like three or four hours ago, but I decided to wait a little bit to see what Twitch would respond with because the backlash has been considerable. Everyone is rightfully furious about this, and I just kind of wanted to let it all simmer, let Twitch kind of marinate in this okay. Twitch's cauldron here and see how they would respond to all of it. So I went and played basketball, which is why I'm very sweaty right now, and I've just got home, and it turns out they did respond. Okay. I expected them to respond with something like, this nigga be hooping for real? I been forgetting this nigga be hooping. I seen the little Hassan versus him clip, bruh. They was running a little 5-on-5 five on, five on some shit. They did respond. I expected them to respond with something like, Our sincerest apologies earlier this afternoon. We were coming down with a severe case of big fucking idiot disease. Oh, fuck. Turns out one of our employees oh, fuck. our water with plutonium and stupid juice. Oh, fuck. So we oh, fuck. Why are cooking these niggas? Why are you trying to cook these niggas? Why are you trying to cook these niggas? We're scrapping it. We're sorry. That's what I expected. But they went in a different direction. They went with a very pathetic attempt to save face and backpedal. So we're just going to go over this whole situation from top to bottom. Oh, yeah. Could please so explain. Today that Twitch is put... I, w I would say I'm not in it. Like, I don't really dive deep down into, like, shit like this. Like, you feel me? I wouldn't say I'm not... I'm, I'm definitely in tune with it. But I'm not deep down dived into it. You feel me? Sponsored into the deep end of it. Branded content in their crosshairs to try and fucking slap. So... Formats permitted with the new guidelines on branded content on Twitch are logos on stream. So branded overlays are limited to 3% of screen size at most. So any branded overlays can branded only be 3% of screen size. That means like if you have a G Fuel sponsorship or something, you can only have like G Fuel in the 3% of your screen area. 3%? Nigga, what's the what's a 3%? What is 3%? 3% is like this. The fuck is that? What the fuck did I mean? Damn. What the hell, bro? That's 3% if we talking like, you feel me? 3%? 3%, my nigga. Damn. Area. You can no longer have burned in video ads, meaning you can't play like your own ads during it or ads of another brand that's working with you. What? You also can't have display ads, so like banner ads, which is a big one because a lot of sponsored game streams require banner ads, which Wait, what? completely removes that, which is a huge hit. So like them pop-up shits that be popping up on the screen? Moment. Like overlays? You can't have shit? audio ads played during streams. What? Now to clarify what is allowed, which is branded panels on the channel page or showcasing products in the stream background or links to other sites that promote things, discussing endorsing our unboxing products and playing sponsored games. The last one's a little silly considering that when you play sponsored games, part of that package almost always includes at least one of the things that is now forbidden. Uh, with the new policy changes they're toying around with. What? Now, all of these are huge changes. A lot of streamers have talked about this. I've talked about this. The vast majority of revenue a streamer generates is through sponsorships, whether it's sponsored game deals for, like, X amount of hours streaming a game or just answering... Now, I'm not going to lie. This nigga is not lying. <laughs> this nigga is not lying, bro. When it comes to that shit, he is really not lying at all. That's the thing. He's not lying. ...brands that you will promote during your stream... That's where the majority of streamers' revenue comes from. Like, almost all of the top 500 streamers, that is their biggest driver of revenue. Subs and donations are a small part compared to sponsorships. Facts. So Twitch targeting that is like the only decision they could make that legitimately would drive all of their top 500 streamers elsewhere if they can no longer pursue partnerships comfortably on the platform. Facts. This is a platform-destroying moment. This is up there with Tumblr banning porn or that day that OnlyFans decided they were going to ban porn. It is a completely... It's oh, Armageddon fuck. For the oh, this fuck. Would oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Without exaggeration. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, let's talk fuck. About some more specific oh, examples. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Video game tournaments or even just any general events could no longer Let this nigga cook. on Twitch because for those tournaments what? to exist, they have sponsors. What? Niggas can't do sponsor tournaments no more? What the... So they might as well just ban, like, 100% ban sponsorships. You see what I'm saying? These niggas might as well 100% ban sponsorships if that's the case. And as part of those sponsorships, 3% the events, no like tournaments, event or a Valorant event, 
are obligated to play those sponsored ads during the event, which has now entered Santa Claus's naughty list here on Twitch. It's illegal. You're going to the fucking slammer. You're going to jail if you play a sponsored ad during your stream from these policy what? changes. So let's take, for example, Valorant. Valorant has an eBay deal. So during intermission in between games and Valorant broadcasts, they play eBay ads. Not anymore. Not anymore, Buster. You can't do that shit yet. You outlaw. What? Listen here, Bubba. No more of that shit. You just call now, me Bubba, very too. very interesting to note here is that YouTube actually has a similar policy. What the... Hold on. Hold on. YouTube has a similar policy you know, for burn video ads. I mean, who goes to YouTube and stream, though? And is testing live ads, sponsorship channels, skins, and more. Twitch policy is much broader considering their aspiration. That's a lot of reading, bro. That a lot of people are bringing up to explain the two right let, now. I'm gonna let Charlie but explain Twitch's it. Twitch's enforcement and the way that they spoke about I'm it. I'm gonna let Charlie explain it, bro. The enforcement of YouTube, and from everything I've read, YouTube doesn't really enforce this policy even at all to begin with. It's just kind of there as a blanket in case things get exploited or misused. But either way, there is there is something comparable on YouTube, but not nearly as egregious or as frightening as what Twitch is proposing. Now, when this policy change first got announced, we immediately tried reaching out to as many people as possible for some clarity because the way that it okay. reads seems like it's going to have a massively detrimental impact on our esports org, Moist Esports, thanks to the way we do our watch parties. And from all the information we've gathered, it seems like we're in some fucking hot water there, which is not good. Opera GX sponsors our esports team. And as part of that sponsorship deal, during our watch parties when we're cheering on our teams, we play our own custom Opera GX ads that we made ourselves with green screen, like where I'm a pirate or a fisherman, those kind of really goofy over-the-top ads, we play okay. those. But now that whole concept is more forbidden than human transmutation in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We can't do that anymore, which is a huge hit I'm to our watch esports that. org, since Opera GX pays us under the expectation that we're also going to be doing those ads during our watch parties, which we can't do anymore. We also have a banner ad for Opera GX during the watch parties, which we can't use anymore. Okay. So the main two things Opera GX is sponsoring our esports org for has been banished to the fucking Shadow Realm. So what are they paying us for if we're, con if we're to continue doing watch parties on Twitch? And it's entirely out of our control. It's not like we're choosing not to fulfill our obligations with Opera GX. Twitch just wouldn't allow us to or else my channel would get banned on Twitch for doing Damn. so, I imagine. Now, Opera GX has been an extraordinary partner. I don't think they'd actually drop us for it, but they would have every reason to because they wouldn't be able to get what they were paying for with our esports org and our watch parties anymore because Twitch isn't allowing it in its current state, at least not Damn. as it stands from their first pass of this policy. It's just so no, fucked shambles, up. Bro. Now, it's not we're just, shambles, bro. you know our esports org or you know, shambles, top bro. streamers or anything like that. It's any streamer that would pursue sponsorships, which is a lot of them. You know, big and small streamers, all of them alike, do rely on sponsorships. Shambles, and this bro. hits everybody shambles. equally. It fucks everyone in the shambles. face all the same. It is an extremely greedy and corrupt, degenerate decision from Twitch. It is fucking disgusting. It's definitely worth mentioning that I have seen some arguments being made where Twitch might follow YouTube's example here and won't enforce it strictly. Like, they might just reserve this policy for bad actors only. And I guess that is entirely possible, but there's just no way of knowing. We just have to wait and see how it all plays out. But there is very clear ways this could be implemented that hurts every single person who uses the platform. And personally, I feel the reason why they're even making this policy update in the first place isn't necessarily to follow suit with YouTube or something as like a you know, a fallback protocol in case there's bad actors misusing branded content somewhere. I feel the reason they're doing it is to try and push all their streamers to do everything through Twitch. You know, do all of their sponsorships through their sponsorship programs. That way they can get a cut of everything. I just, that's how I interpret all this. That's how I feel the motivation behind it was is misguided, it's mismanaged, it's completely lost, it's geriatric. Anything it's this nigga says goes, bro. I'm just letting y'all niggas know that right now. Anything this nigga says goes, bro. Charlie, you know all be all of this platform, bro. Fingers. Yes, I'm dick riding. <laughs> yes! In each pie that happens on their platform, and that comes right out of the streamer's income. We've already seen them do that with the sub-revenue where they're dropping everyone to 50-50 sub-revenue forever, non-negotiable, and now they're doing it for sponsorships because on Twitch... All streamers, a lot of them, are doing sponsorships, and when they do, Twitch sees nothing from it. They don't get any portion of sponsorships done by streamers on their platform, and that makes them furious. They got steam coming out of their ears. 
So this is their attempt to try and force streamers to comply with Twitch's ad incentive program or their their branded content program, such as like the Twitch bounty board. The Twitch bounty board. I have been seeing that. I think sponsorship where I'm pretty sure I have been seeing that. Approach Twitch to do I... like sponsored game deals. And I don't streamers know. can go into their bounty board, click and see what's there, and then choose to take a deal where they're getting paid X amount of dollars for X amount of hours. And if they do that, Twitch gets a large portion of that income. To me, it just seems like the direction Twitch is going is do everything through us or else. It's only been two months since they made this announcement where they're testing new experiences to connect streamers and brands crazy, through their bro. sponsored streaming network that they're creating. Selfish. So it just seems like since Twitch offers this program, it seems like this policy change was supposed to scare streamers away from So they're selfish. So basically what they're saying, they're selfish. Twitch's ecosystem here because Twitch doesn't make any money if you get a brand deal outside of this program whereas if you use twitch here for their sponsored streams twitch makes money i'm hungry twitch is really trying to monopolize streamers income and this is something mr beast just mentioned on twitter as well yeah i've seen that Twitch just wants to make sure that if any money is generated on their platform they get a piece of that pie they want that cake they're gluttonous and they're willing to sink as low as humanly possible to get it it's sickening this doesn't just affect individual streamers like i mentioned it affects anyone that wants to do events on their platform as well that's so let's do an crazy example. bro smash tournaments smash tournaments rely entirely on sponsorship revenue like a, a, a papa john's ad or, or something like that all of it that's crazy that, bro house of hot think of that house house of which, highlights bro think of them think of house of highlights bro these niggas getting all this shit from sponsors, bro. You know how many times Pizza Hut done sponsor House of Highlights and every time? Didn't they stream on Twitch when they did their events or was it YouTube? I don't know. No, I think it was YouTube actually. Never mind. But still, if these niggas came to Twitch, bro. Ads, uh, I know Amazon. Amazon be doing shit on Twitch. Ads during broadcast and even just Amazon Music like Dreamville events and shit, bro. All of I know that's based on sponsorships, bro. Goes through as written. Look, they just went live. Every single game that's so cr- that happens that's on crazy right now, fuck. Look, and generally just every single event ever. So like a music festival. Bro. Music festival is another great example. Exactly. Music festivals rely heavily on sponsors too. If you watch a music festival that sometimes get broadcast on Twitch, you'll notice they have their own built-in ads as well that they'll play sometimes, depending on which one you're watching. That's no longer allowed either. So should this policy be pushed through? That's crazy, the gates bro. Of fucking Mordor here and make it to the. That's platform? crazy. Every single event organizer is going to leave Twitch because they legitimately will not be able to run on Twitch anymore if they can't put Damn, ads bro. on their sponsors. And sponsors aren't going to give money to people or or uh, events if they can't have their brand be showcased, like with a banner ad or a, a normal commercial. If they can't get anything out of it, why the fuck would any of these brands sponsor anything on the platform? It's not going to happen. So all of the event organizers are probably going to go to places like Kick or YouTube. And I imagine most of the streamers will be going to other platforms as well. At least part-time. They won't fully invest in Twitch. This is going to be a wild like summer, bro. Or reliable this is going to be a crazy Twitch summer. I ain't going to lie. Like most streamers I'm going to say it now, bro. It's going to be a crazy-ass summer. And now Twitch is hitting sponsorships. Like Especially when it comes to this content creation stuff. Make when you're, if you're a streamer in the streaming world, bro, it's going to be a crazy summer. impacting them. Even after recognizing how important that is to the ecosystem. So most streamers, there will be a mass ex- exodus, I imagine. A lot of streamers have already said that they're going to do that on Twitter in response to this. So streamers are going to go to other platforms, so that way they can continue to have these sponsorship opportunities. Like, Twitch is really on the, on the deathbed here. This it's getting policy bad, change I it's getting is real the bad. end of the platform if it goes through. It's getting real bad, bro. Now, I've real bad, my nigga. I've open about it. When my Twitch contract real bad. ends, and I'm doing my best to try and end it early... When it ends, I will be going to other platforms to stream, just to test them all out. I'll still be streaming on Twitch occasionally, but like I, we can't even do our watch parties there anymore. This is a big thing that I love to do. So I would like to try streaming Damn, on net. YouTube, for example, which is why I turned on memberships on YouTube here, just in case. So it's one of those things where this is something that will destroy the platform. Man. And Twitch must have recognized that because they did put out a follow-up statement about an hour ago here. And I think it's trash. I think it is a terrible response. Today's branded content policy update was overly broad. This created confusion and frustration, and we apologize for that. We do not intend to limit streamers' ability to enter into direct relationships with sponsors, and we understand that this is an important part of how streamers earn revenue. We wanted to clarify our existing ads policy that was intended to prohibit third-party and networks from selling burned-in video and display ads on Twitch, which is consistent with other services. 
We missed the mark with the policy language and we'll rewrite the guidelines. Oh, yeah, I definitely missed the mark. Thank I ain't gonna lie. Heavy on that. Heavy on, the the mark, Heavy on missed the mark, bro. Heavy on missed the mark. Heavy on missed the mark, low key. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Kind of heavy on missed the mark. This is some sour fucking mustard here. Basically just saying, we're sorry you misunderstood us. Yeah, we must have used too many big words for your simpleton minds, and it led to too much confusion, so we're sorry for that. We'll make sure to dumb it down into layman's terms going forward. But that's just not the case. It's not like you put out a broad statement that had a lot of uh, misinterpretation. Is that the last game, in the, last game in the finals? You laid out pictures. Like, you literally made it as simple and specific as possible. Down to exact percentages of how much it could take up on screen. 3%. That's not broad. Like, you specifically laid it all out with fucking pictures. It, 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 like, I don't know why they're trying to play this angle that it was just too broad and confusing and people misunderstood it. You made it clear what your intention was. I don't think there was any misunderstanding here. This is just a really sad attempt to try and save face like, Oh, no, no, no. The, we, we didn't mean what you guys are saying. No, 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 no. That's, we meant something totally different. Brother, you laid out a picture book of the new policy changes. Like, it doesn't get Crazy, more clear bro. than that. Now, again, this I'm is... I'm on Twitter trying to see if there's any new updates, here, at least bro. just own it. Just be like, hey, guys, look. We fucked up. We're lost. We don't know what we're doing at Twitch, guys. Look, it's, everything's on fire over here. Employees are getting let go left and right. Our CEO's 96 years old. He's a fucking fossil. Like, we just don't know what's going on. You know, we can't steer the ship correctly, so we fucked up with this idea. We're just desperately trying to get a couple more doubloons out of the platform and don't know how. Doubloons. Like, at least that would have been honest. As opposed to going down this path where it's like, ah, it, sorry it was confusing and you guys didn't understand us. And then the ultimate cherry on top of the shit cake is they still, in their response, don't explain what they're doing. They're still not explaining what the new policy is doing. They're just saying, okay, we'll rewrite it. Okay, but the, so what did we get wrong? What did we misunderstand then? The only thing they add even a little bit of clarity to is that it's supposed to target third-party ad networks. Like, I, I suppose there's some companies that have programs that will pump branded content onto some streams and it kind of competes with Twitch's own built-in display ads. Oh, it's something fuck. I've never heard of and had to do some serious digging to find because it's not exactly a prevalent issue on the platform from everything I'm reading, but... There are a couple of companies that will pump their own ads onto streamers' streams, like burn in ads onto their streams. And when those pop up during a stream, that makes money for that third party company, not Twitch. And sometimes the streamer gets a kickback from that as well, but it's not like a true sponsorship partnership deal. It's like an ad network having their own, basically having their own display ads on Twitch without it being mm. Twitch display ads, if that makes any sense. It's, it's very niche. Like, if that truly was what they are trying to target, this is a very overblown response and exaggerated reaction to it. They went nuclear on it with this whole song and dance they've made out of it. It's very clear Twitch wants to facilitate every sponsorship deal through their platform so they get a cut of it. They've, they've announced like the ad incentive program as well as they even have their own new branded content program to get sponsorships mm. through them. And they get a portion of all of that. So they want to make sure that streamers are kind of coerced into using those programs. So that way Twitch can get more money out of them. As opposed to having their own agents, their own managers, or their own connections to these brands to work directly with them, where Twitch doesn't see any money from those sponsorships. It, it, so like, let me get the record weird. straight. So basically what's happening right now is Twitch is only trying to get the creators to get ad, like sponsorships through them. Like They're not allowing no other sponsorships coming from nowhere. No stream element sponsorships, no... Rate Shadow Legends, no shit like that. It can't be on, and it can't be on the screen. Can, if it's on the screen, it gotta be some, some shit like this. It, like it gotta be like you feel me, this fucking size on some shit. It gotta, it gotta be this fucking size on some shit. What the? F imagine my, <laughs> imagine I stream like this, bro. If I just whip my shit out right now, would y'all see it? Like you feel me, like bro. Why they want to do this? It's just a fucked up thing to do, and it ruins the whole you platform me, though. trying to implement this policy because no one's going to stay there. There's That's kind of insane, platform. though. That's fucking a love a lot of bags, bro. Especially, you nah, well I would say this. It's fucking up your bag for real, for real, especially if you got to, like, if Twitch is your full-time everything. Like, you're not relying on you. I guess you could be relying on YouTube sometimes, but if Twitch is your full throttle, full-on go, full-time, nigga... Then yeah, that's fucking a bag. It's crazy, bro. I'm not going to I'm not even going to sit here and cap, bro. If that is your most active income, then yeah, bro. 
Yeah, I gotta stop, bro. At Wait. that point, if it was for y'all, bro, then yeah, I would say I ain't gonna lie. The green side is looking a little, it's looking a little good for y'all. If that's y'all, you feel me? And R. The green side is Even looking a little a pretty good for y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Like completely just the green side is looking a little healthy like, for y'all. I'm not gonna not, hold you. We're not going down this path anymore. Everything's gonna stay the same. You can still do sponsorships, no problem. Even if they do that, the trust is gone. Most streamers are still going to look elsewhere because Twitch has shown their hand. They've shown their whole ass here. Twitch is more than comfortable yeah, not only taking money away lie. from streamers yeah. sub-revenue, but just taking money away They're from They've been showing a lot for the past six months. You know, they've they been showing they a no lot. Problem, which is sponsorship. And I mean like a if lot. If it's their own sponsorship, they should have full reign, full rights to do whatever they want with it. A lot, my nigga. Twitch shouldn't be getting a cut of sponsorship deals that you yourself are getting, or your manager or team or whatever. That is true. I'm not going to lie. That is outrageous. That is I can see, I can see the shit they pay you, but like, bro. The green Yo, sponsorships has though, bro. Single handedly destroyed. That's ridiculous. Twitch. I don't know how it bounces back. Like, the reputation is beyond ruined. The shit like they want to sponsor you for. If a, me. If the shit that they want to sponsor me, the creator for. Place, I still see a Not Twitch. They didn't ask Twitch. They asked me. Elsewhere. They emailed me. Time, but they'll dip their toes into plenty of other places. They're in my emails. Out because it's not safe. So I get, I get what he's saying, though. I, get, I for sure get There's what he's no saying. There's no reason to be exclusive on Twitch anymore. That's just not something most people will want to do going forward i bet so yeah i just want to talk about this a little bit that's it thank you yeah. charlie can i get a w fucking charlie man w fucking charlie w fucking charlie man